three, two, one, action. When I was 13, I did uh, Shaw's Pygmalion, so My Fair Lady. And um, I played a party guest, so it was my first experience on stage. My first professional gig, however, didn't happen. I didn't make the decision until I was 21 to really enter the field professionally. I think my favorite character to date is Rita Ma on, at the time, it was CBC's Da Vinci's City Hall. Because I was only three years in, and it was, I was so fortunate to book a regular, a season, a series regular, and I was with some of Canada's veterans, and I was by far the youngest. So the learning curve and the challenge and basically the, the trust bestowed in me by um, executive producer Chris Haddock at the time was a lot of pressure, but it was also like I'd made this really huge leap to only recently to really kind of jump and, and say, well, if I don't do it now, I'll never know. And, but it only had been like three years. So to be able to, to, be, to for someone to say, I trust you with this, with this big kind of responsibility. The biggest challenge is readjusting according to their approach because some of them are very technical. They're very focused on your either blocking and the, the aesthetic of your performance. They're always looking for the truth. Everyone I've worked with, I mean obviously you're looking for genuine performance, but some of them are, some of them kind of trust you right away and say, okay, you're gonna deliver anyway, so what I'm concerned about is the light. So we're gonna move here, we're gonna put you, whereas an, another director won't be concerned with that at all and will be entirely like crew over here, I'm with my actors, let's rehearse. So just kind of like, oh, so I'm in the technical and now, no, 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 this is, all, this is gonna be more about the performance. Kate Blanchett, she has a, she can be very tightly wound as, as well as extremely loose in her character portrayals. Um, she strikes me as a generous actress. Um, I just admire her a lot. getting to see all different kinds of facets of human nature, by far. I'm a very gregarious person by nature. My parents are like that. My whole family, huge like Quebec family, yelling at the table like growing up. So being in this business now affords me this wonderful fascination with the characters I get to portray. What I've learned over the years is that there's so little you can control in this business, very, very little. So because of the lack of security, the natural reflex is to try and get a hold, to anchor yourself in something instead of, you know, constantly waiting by the phone and, you know, you never know when the next job is gonna be and what job that's gonna be and why do they always see me in this light? Why am I typecast? There's so many things that, you know, you can't control. Worry about the things that you can control. Your health, your training, your community, surround yourself with good people. Um, find where in your life you can have a regular, I'm not saying all the time because it's impossible, source of unconditional love. Because any job is tough because you get judged, but our job is particularly filled with rejection and events that can really, really destroy your self-esteem. So aspiring young actors and actresses should really just Focus on the things that you can control. The first step is who, who is she? What does she do? What does she want? Um, and you, you right away have the, the instinct, it's natural of saying, oh, she's not like me in X, Y, Z. And that's normal and it's okay. But then the, for me, my process is, well, what if it was me? And it's not just something that I'm putting on top, but it's me that's slipping into. 
I recently played a werewolf on, <laughs> on being human, and it was like the the what, like one of the the best teams, like awesome people to work with. I love the cast. I had to give birth, and I gave birth to a werewolf. <laughs> so, for obvious reasons, like for reasons like like okay, so Milan is a werewolf. <laughs> like, how do I? So, you know, because it was so in the realm of fantastic and sci-fi and I had to reach the farthest to understand um, who she was and what she was going through. Something in Asia, because my mother's from there and I always, I always wondered, I've been there before, I've lived there just to kind of understand that part of my heritage. So ideally Vietnam, but it could be Thailand or Japan or China, just because I'm it's part of and a story that is local. Train and raise and breed horses. My first job was as a stable hand in a, in a stable um, to earn basically my, my first lessons when I was growing up. I was 13. So I think and I love horses, so yeah, I think I would I would be and, and being outside and outside the city.